Welcome to Nuts at Night, episode number 21. As you can hear, we have new music for the show. That's from a guy named Evan King. I found him on a site called GarageBand.com, and uh, I was looking for music for the show. And I heard him, he plays a lot of cool instrumental music, and this was like an 8-bit Nintendo-type sounding song. So uh, I picked that music for the show. You guys in the chat room can't hear it now, but when this show gets released, you will be able to hear it. And I'm here with Steve D'Amico, guys. Hello, hello. Hey, Steve, what's going on? Not much. What's going on with you? Not much. It's Black yeah. Friday. It's Black Friday today. It's a crazy day. Uh, did you do anything for Black Friday? I stayed in. I just said, nah. You know, I, I didn't want to deal with the crowds and all the mayhem. And I'm not definitely not going to wait online to get like thirty dollars off of a, like a new laptop that I don't need. So exactly. <laughs> it, you know what's the worst part about all those? Uh, it's it's borderline a scam. A lot of those uh, those Black Friday deals. If you look at the fine print, there's a lot of times there's limited quantities, like really limited sure. on some of those items. Sure. Yeah. That, I don't think that's the only scam. I mean, I was – I've been seriously like looking around, going to stores and stuff before Black Friday, just looking at prices of stuff, computers. And then the Black Friday deals come out and you know, I'm looking at them. I'm going, this is, these aren't really like terribly special this year. I think that – just because they put Black Friday deal on top of something, they don't they don't even mark it down that much, but they still think people are going to just come busting through the door to buy it, and they are. I mean, it's like Micro Center's Black Friday specials were no different practically than the regular price that they have. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, but yeah, that's that's terrible too. And th- what what really bugs me is is those limited quantity things, because like. Th- th- you have this little like advertised like a lap. I remember Best Buy did this. La- I think it was last year. They had eight laptops, yeah. only eight, and they had them. They were only for Black Friday, and it was like thirty people online or more. Yeah, and and it was and growing, and it was and they were like five hours early, waiting in the cold. Yeah, and it was literally about a hundred dollars off the laptop, which is pretty good. <laughs> yeah, but it's like you're gonna wait in the cold for like six hours to save a hundred dollars on a laptop I know. that you probably don't even need yes they will and you and might not even like <laughs> and might not even get i mean if you're not the eighth person in line and yeah. yeah and then of course because there's limited quantity then you get that walmart sensation where you know somebody gets trampled because they all just go rushing in yeah i walmart mitch said he in the chat room said he went to walmart i heard they had a different setup this year so nobody got killed yeah mitch- they gave up bracelets uh, so that if you showed up, then they give you a bracelet, and they're like, "All right, go home. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Come okay. back later." Yeah, uh, you know, I went. A couple, I went. La- no, two years ago, I went to Black Friday, and it was it was at Best Buy, and I was there like five in the morning, or whatever. And the line literally like just went around the parking lot like twice, like on a huge circle. Uh, and um, you know, my brother wanted to get D. I oh, know he got an external hard drive. I thought he got just got DVDs. He got an external hard drive for like. You know, good price or whatever. But a- after that day, I'm like, I'm never doing this again. The funny thing was, is l- last night, I was literally up till like 6 a.m. just doing nothing, just sitting on my couch <laughs> because I had a lot of coffee for Thanksgiving, which I hope everybody had a good holiday. Um, I had a lot of coffee. I couldn't get to sleep. So I, I technically could have went out Black Friday and stood in a line instead of sitting on my couch. But here's here's another problem. I just have to I have to talk about this. I I don't want any other – I don't have any other toys I need. For the last two weeks, I've been trying to find a toy for myself, like really hard. I studied all the Black Friday specials. I said I want to buy something. I haven't bought something for myself in a while, a gadget or a computer, something, and I could not find one thing that I actually wanted. So that hmm. scared me a little bit. Well, I'm kind of, this, I'm kind of the same way. I, I couldn't really think of anything I – because I, the way I think of it is – what do I need? And I don't right. really think I need anything. I mean, right. the gift thing I got that all taken care of. I mean, I got my ideas, and they're not, I'm not going to find them in in these uh, in a lot of these stores. So, that's just kind of just not interested. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't. Yeah. Need, I don't need anything either. I mean, there's not too much. There's not too much. I mean, un- until yeah. unless we get into like several thousand dollar things, which is okay. That might be an upgrade. Like. If I do, I want to really trade in my forty-inch TV for like a fifty-inch. No, it's not worth it. Not, not from where, I, where I'm where I'm living. I'm perfectly happy with my stuff. So. Yeah. Well, I, I got a suggestion. If you want, I saw something that's it's just so it's it's a toy, totally a toy, but it, it looks pretty cool to me. What's that? It's called a chumby. You ever see, you ever see this thing? Yeah, I heard about that. 
What is yeah. it, like a fuzzy little thing you put on your desk or something? <laughs> yes, exactly. What does it do? It's just a little, it's like a little fuzzy little computer. <laughs> exactly. And it, 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 it's like, it's, it's like a, like anybody, well, it's like a widget player. And, uh, but you can pl- put like, um, you can play Pandora and all sorts of different. Oh, really? Widgets like, uh, like an alarm clock and. You know, I heard games. about it. I- I'm going to look it up right now. Chumby. And I see, yeah. I see, see Door Door Geek is suggesting a flip camera in the chat room. And um, I have my iPhone. I don't need a flip. Yeah, that's the way I look at it. But that's a good suggestion, Steve. Yeah. I mean, all right. Chumby. Chumby. I've heard all about it. I don't know why I never looked at it. It's pretty neat. Yeah, it's kind of cool. It's, it's, I mean, I don't know what I'd use that for, but, <laughs> <laughs> but it, it looked kind of cool when I saw it. And I saw there was a guide for building your own. I think it would, what company had that. Uh, they had a chumby kit that you can buy. And it was like $100 off if you feel like putting it back. If like, if you feel like putting some right uh, together. You know, this is really cool, man. <laughs> yeah, How much does this too. cost? I think it was – there's two different models, I think. There was one that was like – oh, I forget. 100, 100 bucks. It's on back order. And then the fuzzy one's 200 bucks. And it comes with like these little – um, these little like uh, little charms. <laughs> it's kind of like 14-year-old yeah. girlish, but it comes with these little charms. <laughs> oh, yeah. I see the charms. Oh, that's cheesy. <laughs> yeah, you could – wait, it comes with them. And uh, and then you can buy more. It is a little lame. But, and you can like decorate it. Yeah, I see that. That's really <laughs> – Really neat. <laughs> no, I mean, but I actually like the non-fuzzy version. I like the other one, the plastic one. Well, you could you could kind of like you could take it out. Of, well, this is my new thing is to kind of like tear tear. I'm I'm getting back into kind of tearing things apart part and like really? kind of rebuilding them. I used to do that when I was uh, when I was like in high school. I used to my my thing was to like kind of I was kind of obsessed with making things smaller. Like I would take phones and I would re. Do like a re like sometimes I would actually go as far as changing the circuitry or just literally tearing out like sections and and just minimalizing things. Not like I would cell tear phone. Out. You're not talking about cell phones. No, not cell phones. Ma- mainly just regular phones because right. I cell phones weren't as as big when I was in school, but uh, not nearly as big. Yeah, and uh, me neither. I used to have a, I used to have a fun time just kind of like minimalizing a lot of different things yeah. and just kind of repackaging things. And Dude, kinda, I, was, I was the same way. I got yeah. into. Uh, hacking nintendo systems nes's and making them into handheld systems that was neat i tried to start a business doing it where um, because i bought a book at it like uh barnes and noble on how to take an nes an old 8-bit nes and take out the motherboard of it basically buy one of those um eight 